buddy. Hello, hello, hello. How's it going? Can you hear me okay? How's it going? Greetings. So, uh, something real weird happened, and I kind of want to show you guys... Uh... I don't even know if this is like if this is a thing or if like I just happened to find it or if I if it's random chance but this is not my world and I didn't do anything it just is here um I I spawned a new seed because I was going to go randomly looking for a bunch of stuff and this is all stuff that I found when I got here so I don't know what that means. It's full of materials, it's got like a bunch of accessories that basically break the game. Uh, I don't know, it's, it's really strange. I've never encountered a uh, building, no less like a place full of NPCs already by the time I got here. It's got multiple tiers of armor already. Like, what the hell's going on here? I didn't do this. And it's even got armor I actually needed for my Let's Play that I didn't have. Hello! It's Starbound now. Yeah, so, um, if you guys have any clue of what's going on here, like, feel free. The thing that is kind of all of a sudden striking me is that I feel like I actually might have made this, like, a long time ago. But I don't know. What if I named it the same name that I did back then? Could it, like, still find files? I didn't do this. <laughs> I'm really confused. Uh, yeah. I, I'm thinking that's probably what it is. Like, I probably did this years ago and just forgot. But I just generated this world just now, so... I don't know what's going on. If anyone has any information that can help me understand this, I would love to hear it. Um, anyway, I think what I'm going to do then is I'm going to go scope out this map. Hi, Pi Avenger. Yeah, that's probably what happened, because there's torches everywhere. Looks to be all 1.1 gear. Yeah, which is why it makes sense that this might have been an old map from a long time ago. And I feel like I actually did make that house, because it sort of has a structure to it that I thought I kind of sort of remembered making. But how do you just generate a map just now, and then have it be a map you made years ago? Like, what's that about? Does that mean it's compatible with the new stuff now, or like, what? What is anything? to the wiki. It is creepy, and I'm, I swear I'm not making this up. It's really strange to me. <laughs> I'm completely confused. And uh, I, that's, like, I was gonna go live anyway, but then once I saw that, I was like, holy shit. Yeah, I mean, this is clearly where there was a meteorite probably mined out. That's why there's all this background on the dirt. How's the grinding going? It's, uh, it's been a little slow. I haven't really been getting a whole lot of new stuffs, but anyway, uh, that's kind of our goal for the night, if we're going to have a goal. And I have no idea how long I'm planning on doing this, but I'm going to just uh, see if there's like a frozen biome. And dive in there, and then I also want to maybe check out a crimson biome and try and get those vampire knives, because I could kind of use the key. I haven't gotten any key molds still. The thing that pisses me off about key molds is you don't know if you've ever maybe had one drop and just didn't see it. Because that could happen, like, you could very easily find yourself uh, in a position where you're dealing with too many enemies, and all of a sudden, uh, there's, you know, your key mold's already off the screen, you didn't notice it, and then you quit the game or something. You're welcome, Rumble Muffin. Thank you for being here. Uh, this was obviously unannounced or anything, I just kind of did this on a whim. By the way, I set this as a small map, and there's basically no way in hell that this is a small map. Yeah, this is absolutely not a small map at all. We would have been to the end in a while or a while ago. So if anyone has ever encountered 
uh, the story that I have just relayed to you about this map being a map I may have made years ago, having just generated it just now, let me know what's up with that. Uh, I'd really, really love to see how this is possible. It's very much not a small map, absolutely. Yeah, I agree, this is absolutely not a small map. And that is 100% what I just specified in the, the area where you click that box. Or the option. This is even seeming like a 1.1 map in the things that are spawning here. Like, it doesn't have big trees, it doesn't seem to have a snow biome on this side anyway. I mean, I guess I could just spawn back home and see the other side. Alright, so this whole side is all opened up now. Let's see if there's anything peculiar on this end. You're gonna find a UFO stuck in a wall. You've created a game transcending glitch world. Um, that would be terrifying. <laughs> but I guess no better time for creepy stuff than... 3.30 in the morning. <laughs> I know for a fact there's going to be somebody in the comments is like, he's just debuilt this and he's just trying to fool us. I swear I am not. This is not anything of ill will or trolling or anything like that. This is completely legit. I just don't know what's going on right now. If I find out an explanation, I will definitely tell you guys, but right now I'm totally in the dark. And I guess that's kind of exciting, but <laughs> I'm totally confused by it. It's entirely possible his save file evolved and is now sentient and messing with him. <laughs> um, I don't really need a sentient save file coming at me in the dark. He wants those Twitch bucks. As much as I do want the Twitch bucks, this is a very strange strategy for getting them, I have a feeling. <laughs> Delete the world and make a new one with the same seed and see if it does it again. I guess we could try that. I'm thinking it might have something to do with the fact that I named it Temp, because I was expecting to just come in here and mine out the, the winter biome and then leave. So I was thinking, like, we'll just call this a temporary one. Maybe that's, like, a code that the game somehow hooks in with, and if it sees Temp, it's just like, oh, load this thing from a while ago or something. Like, I don't know what the game sees that as, but that was my uh, seed that I used. Yeah, I saw the meteor. I'm like, just not really into mining it right now. <laughs> there aren't as many biomes, so it might be an earlier seed. It doesn't seem like there's any of the biomes that I would normally see here, but it's got all the shit that I, it, like, is there already. Yeah, and there's the dungeon. Um, yeah, it doesn't have big trees. It doesn't have winter. It doesn't even seem to have an, a jungle above ground. But it's got, like, a house, and NPCs that live there, and torches everywhere, and a meteorite. And I just got here. Uh, I don't know what to do. Loads a map called Temp. Okay, well, tell me what happens. Uh, I guess I'm gonna just make another one, then, because this is weird. Also not useful. Terraria Drown. <laughs> Alright, save and exit. I guess we'll see what's up with that. Dude, this world is so old you cannot delete this. Alright, well it's also not useful, so... Small world. We'll call this one... Random Letters. Except. Now watch this one, like, load my other world that I just have been making the Let's Play in or something. 
Yeah, I've heard about Ben. I don't think he really drowned. I think it's just a rumor perpetuated by the internet. Alright, skiggly boobly bop. Let's load this one in. Okay, this looks like a place. Oh, and there's our winter biome. Mission accomplished. So this is not a creepy place, the way the other place is. Remember Lucky Coin this time. I have it in my piggy bank, so I can use it if I want. Um, don't think I need it that badly, though. I'm actually still not hurting for money. I think I have about 14 platinum. Oh, I gotta summon my uh, wisp in a bottle for extra light. There we go. I'm just going to try and remember to throw everything away along the whole way. Temp map equals new world never used with slopes on the terrain and snow biome. And I have almost 500 hours on Terraria. Alright, so what the hell then? <laughs> like, that makes sense. It shouldn't be a thing. Why is it a thing for me? Man, I wish I had it on stream showing that I just generated it completely on the fly. I mean, I guess, in theory, I could delete it and make it again, or I could just make another one called that and see if it does the same thing, and then that might be able to prove my case. Um, anyway, I'm just here in the winter biome looking for ice skates still, because I've still never found one of those damn things. So we want to find chests, and of course, you know, if uh, key molds drop, that's pretty cool as well, but the odds of that happening are pretty low. The boomerang statue that I'm not really interested in. I don't really want to use, like, 5,000 torches here. Uh, any specific tracks I'm especially fond of? I think uh, Experimentation on Vertex is probably my favorite. I think it's track 5 on the second disc. I think that was the one that had the most, like, thematic variance through it, and I thought it came across kind of unique, so... Also, uh, has kind of classier samples in it than some of the other ones. There's actually, like, orchestral moments in it, which is not something that I really do much with. Alright, I guess I just have to dig down. You can delete it, but then when you open it the next day it will come call called Why Did You Delete Me? <laughs> I don't want a scary Terraria map, guys! Oh, maybe I'll get that spider thing while I'm here. I still haven't found a spider chest on my own. We found one in the, the multiplayer map that I was doing with BizSnap. And that was the first time I've seen one of those spider things, and it's got like the web slinger or whatever the hell. Let's see if there's a chest in here somewhere. It doesn't seem especially chest-like around here. No, I guess not. Hey, Wayfair Angel, thank you very much for your subscription. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Uh, I should also let you guys know that another reason that I'm especially appreciative of subscribers right now is because I've just submitted our, what is it, eighth? I think it's eighth uh, emote, which is going to be a rock tomato. So we will be able to, you know, boo people off the stage if we need to with rock tomatoes, or of course, if we're doing the tomato mod in Spelunky, that's also a viable use for it. And that means that I've actually hit my uh, my emote cap. So now I need to get to 250 Twitch subscribers before I get two more slots. And then I don't know what I'm going to use those for, but I just wanted to let you know that there is still that option that we can get up to two more. And I think that's the maximum that anyone can have is 10. So thank you very much for the subscription and helping me get one step closer to the edge. And I'm about to break. I have to say that after I listened to that freaking Linkin Park Gangnam Style entire album remix, like, I, my mind was kind of blown that someone took the time to create 
the entirety of that album over again with one song's lyrics. Although by the end of the album, they had obviously gotten kind of bored of doing that themselves, I could tell, because they had started to mix in some other not Gangnam Style songs, like the Gentleman Song, whatever that's called. And he's like, Ross of Frost, a gentleman. And he says that over and over again. I don't know the words that he's saying. I'm, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. I'm sorry, that was maybe a little bit insensitive. <laughs> uh, but that's what it sounded like to me. So, yeah, I was pretty impressed that somebody took the time to create that whole thing. That's uh, beyond something I would ever do. But I do understand the obsession sometimes with wanting to make something super strange. And I've embarked upon my own journey this evening, actually, earlier this evening, uh, creating something that I'm really hoping, if I actually have the guts to finish, will be embraced the world over as something, <laughs> something that will be significant, and I don't want to give away too many hints, but I think it would be something that our community would get a lot out of, hopefully, and maybe I would hear a bunch about from other people who might be interested in doing things with it. And that's about as much information as I'm going to give you for now. But that is completely reliant on me taking the initiative to actually continue uh, what I've started this evening. And I don't know if I'm going to get distracted. It's very possible that I will. But in the event that I do make it further with it, I will be absolutely happy to give you guys what I've made. And let you run wild with it. What song can anyone link it? Yeah, it's the whole... it's the entire album. It's not just one song, it's freaking like 12, 13 tracks or something. Like, 45 minutes worth of Gangnam Style remixes. <laughs> Does it involve Doge? Not yet. Uh, there has not been any Doge appearance at this point. Doge is God. Oh, I'm sure you could make that argument, just as people make the argument that God is love. He said it will be significant, it will be significant, and then he killed the dog. Farts. <laughs> you lost me. Yeah, secret project for now. Double dragon emote. That would definitely be a good call. Uh, if I do unlock those two more slots, that would definitely be like a pretty high chance of being the thing that I would want one of the two to be. But I also don't want to use them all up, right? Because then there's the chance that maybe I'll want to change my mind. I guess I could always, like, get rid of one that we don't use anymore. Probably, like, Rock Cookie is... Well, I don't know. Some people seem to like that one. I don't know what I would get rid of. Well, maybe we could vote on it. Like, which out of the eight would you not want? I don't even honestly know if Rock Tomato is going to get all that much use, but it is a vegetable. And we need more vegetables in our Twitch diet. Okay, where the hell are all the frost chests. I haven't even found any yet, and I don't even know if I'm in the right area at all. Oh, there's a rock cookie. I'm very confused about the level of delay that we have, because it seems like that happened far too fast, based on when I had just said that. Oh, nope. Got excited for a second. I thought maybe I'd found a cavern, but nope, just another little area. Tomato is a fruit? Oh, right. I still don't understand how they classify those things. I've heard that before, and I don't really understand why it's a fruit, or why fruit are fruit. I just know the ones that are. Or at least I thought I did, anyway. Until I just realized I didn't a second ago. You're probably just getting u more used to the delay. Oh, I guess I could be. Rock clicker. What would that be, like, the dudes from The Last of Us? Two hundred and seven hours logged. Um, I feel like I've had more than that, though. Was Terraria ever not on Steam? Because I know for a long time, I feel like I had just sat here and played around with it. No, it was probably always on Steam. I don't know, maybe I'm just talking out of my ass right now. Morning, Taddy Bojangles. So little. Indeed. What about avocado? Yeah, I don't know what the hell that is. I mean, fruit or vegetable, I know what it is. <laughs> Men are also fruit. I heard, uh, what is it, the, the beans, they're the musical fruit? Something about tooting? And then tooting makes you feel better, and then eat beans. 
I think is how it goes. That's the rhyme, right? Tomatoes are biologically fruits, vegetables in a culinary sense. Okay. Men are not fruit, but testicles look like a heart if you look at them the right way. Okay. I guess... Wait, isn't that a non sequitur? <laughs> it kind of took me off guard, but then I realized there was sort of a disconnect there between the actual statement and then what was answered. Uh, fruit and vegetables, and then somehow that equates to a heart? I know you can be shot through the heart, and you're to blame, and you give love a bad name. That's the equation that I would make, or, you know, the, the way to equate those two concepts. Because love and hearts... Anyway. Avocado's technically a fruit, regardless, they taste amazing. I really like that YouTube video that's like, uh, they made all these things out of, like, game pieces. And one of them was like, they take a hand grenade and slice it open and it's an avocado in the center and they make salsa out of it. I think that's such a cool video. I can't remember what it's called right now, though. But I'm pretty sure it won some kind of, like, YouTube award. Whatever that means. <laughs> Feel free to link that, by the way, if you know which one I'm talking about. I have it in my favorites, but I'm not gonna, like, stop the stream and go look for it right now. So, Nick, will you ever do that Super Metroid race? Uh, did I say I was gonna do a race? Maybe I did. I don't see why I wouldn't. Oh, I finally, finally found the goddamn ice skate. Hooray! I finally found the ice skate. I'm so happy. Oh, it took so many hours. Oh, it was so good. Anyway, um, yeah, I would probably do the race, but I need to seriously practice, and I probably need to get my PS3 controller to work to be able to control the game properly. Because uh, if I have any chance of doing a mock ball, I'm not going to be able to do that uh, with the way it is right now on my 360 controller. It's just not an optimal solution for it. Hooray! I'm so happy I finally got this. Do I, I kind of want the chest, too, because I've gotten so few frost chests. I'm just going to toss everything else in the garbage. I've got so many of this, all of this stuff. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. I only need the one, really. I'm just going to add it to my boots later anyway, so let's put this here. And we'll go see if we have a, uh... Oh, wait, you know what I should have done? Is just stayed right there and just dug through to hell. Man, I'm dumb. I should have made it into hard mode. Well, does the crimson have to be in hard mode? I don't even know what I'm asking here. What's up with this map, anyway? Oh, yeah, I barely explored, like, any of it at all. Uh, why does he ranger emblem as me? I have both. Um, I have both the... Uh, Sorcerer and the Ranger Emblem, and I just forgot to switch these back. Uh, you're right that I was backward on that, but since I have both the Chlorophyte and the Spectre Armor on, I have both Emblems as well. Uh, that's why I want to fight Wall of Flesh a few more times to get the Warrior Emblem, and then I can combine them all into the Destroyer Emblem or whatever, uh, and then not have to carry them separately anymore. It's mostly like an, saving me an inventory slot deal. Uh, Nick, look into better DS3 for PS3 controller support. I've never had really much trouble uh, mapping it once I get it to work. It's just I have trouble getting it to connect properly for some reason. <clears throat> and I'm also going to check out for a sandstorm in a bottle, so I want to see if there's any pyramids around. Oh, I'm so happy I finally got the ice skate thing done. Oh, we found the jungle already, okay. Did I, like, ignore any important questions while I was being excited about finding that ice skate? Feel free to, like, reiterate things if you need. Get sniper scope. I saw what's required for that sniper scope, and I don't think I want to use all three of my emblems plus all that other crap just to mold it into something I'm going to use probably not at all. I mean, I will probably get it eventually, but it's not, like, anywhere near being on top of my priority list. Alright, so we've got crimson. Um... Okay, we're probably, this is probably the ocean then, right here. So we're pretty far over. I'm just gonna see if there's, yep, sharks. That's what I was after. Sharks are basically big babies, but they drop fins pretty regularly, so I'm gonna take those. And I'm gonna jump out of the water real quick and see if there's any chests. I'm not really sure what I'm looking for in these chests, but I just like to find them if they're here. And just open them up. Oh, we've got these guys. It should be when you get to a certain point, you can just like, oh, what the hell? There's, like, a building underwater? What the hell's going on right now? I've never seen this before. 
And what is this chest? Is this a bomb or a... Yeah, it's a bomb statue. Okay, I'm probably gonna start drowning in a second. Uh, I'm not super worried about it, though. Flipper. Alright, let's see if we can... Hopefully these wings will get me out of the water. They do. Whee! Decided to check Twitch before bed. Can't believe you're streaming. <laughs> yeah, I stream weird times a lot of the time. Let's, uh... Make a gold out of the sea. This is why I'm glad that I have it set to pause. So I can do stupid crap like this and just, like, convert stuff in my inventory while I'm underwater and not drowning. I got purple mucus? That's the first time I've ever gotten that. Oh, two iron skin potions. That's a good find. I was actually running out of those things. Uh, also, where do I find squid? Because I, like, really need black dye and I've never found any. I mean, apparently I would think they would be, like, here in the ocean, but... I don't think I've ever seen a single squid. Hi, Vandal! Uh, let's see, where do I want to go now? I guess we need to explore to the right, so we'll teleport home once more. Every time I see that ice skate, I'm like, yeah! Just glad I don't have to go searching around in stupid winter area anymore. I mean, it's, it's a fine biome, and I'm going to still have to actually spend some time there to try and get the uh, mold for the key, which, by the way, I've farmed enough keys to make all of the molds now uh, from fighting Plantera. It was really not hard at all. But you'll see that. Uh, well, see me talking about that anyway in future episodes of the actual series. Make a house? Uh, nah, I'm not gonna do that tonight. This is just a farming run. Plus, no reason to settle down in a world that I intend in deleting anyway. Uh, this is not a permanent settlement by any means, this is just for me to sack and pillage, since I was having no luck finding ice chests in the prior worlds that I had been building. You buy it from the closure. Oh, you buy it from the clother! That's why I never found any of it. I thought it was from octopus or squid or something. Alright, there's our dungeon. What color dungeon we have? We have a uh, sort of pinky purple dungeon, I guess. I had this in the other one, actually. A similar... Yeah, the same color, actually. And we'll just check out the other side. I don't think we're getting any pyramids today, guys. Freaking sandstorm in a bottle. That's going to be my other Everest, apparently. Oh, wait. Still a little, little desert? Mm, no, probably not. Let's just dig a couple tiles down just in case. I've had this uh, where the pyramid actually spawned slightly under the surface of the desert, but I was able to see it by here, and those things are freaking huge, so I would have found it in even that small amount. Nick, do you even enjoy this? Yes, I do still enjoy this. It's just, uh, it's a different kind of enjoyment now. And where did I get that purple mucus? I didn't even catch that. Alright, let's go, uh, kill the Wall of Flesh. It's, uh, like half enjoyment and half slight obsession, if that makes any sense. Hopefully you guys out there have played enough games to know what I mean by that. It's sort of the thing, like, where if you're playing Castlevania Symphony of the Night, the enjoyment will carry you through the entire game, but the obsession is what's gonna make you 100% it, right? It's kinda like that. So, I'm at the point now where I've basically done nearly everything. I mean, granted, there's still a few things left, but I've done nearly everything. Uh, aside from finding a bunch of objects, which are all basically just grinding. And, well, I haven't done the, the Winter Moon. And, as far as you guys know, I haven't done the Pumpkin Moon yet, but ha ha, I have actually. <laughs> You'll see. Um, but yeah, it's just going to be finishing that, and then figuring out new little tasks that I want to put myself on. And I don't know what those are going to be at this point. So I'm kind of enjoying uh, the random little quest that I'm finding myself embarking upon. Nick, how do you get mithril? It just randomly shows up, man. Uh, there's like two types of ore for everything. And in the final groupings of ore, there's like mithril and orichalcum are the two, I think, that it go back to back. Or is it cobalt and mithril? I can't remember which tier it is. But the, uh, after hard mode starts, there's three final ones, uh, which are, the, the first set I had was, uh, Cobalt, Orichalcum, and Titanium. But they both, all three of those have alternates, and one of the three alternates is Mithril, 
One of them is Palladium, and the third one is Adamantite. There, I remembered. So there you go. Are you going to farm key molds today? Probably. There's a lot of farming to do. Why can't I find this entrance? Oh, it's right here. I was already walking on it. I are dumb. Thanks for ruining my sleep cycle, Nick. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, it's not like I want to take you down with me. It just is the way it is. Feel free not to watch. I mean, if you need to sleep, don't worry about me. I'm just going to be grinding stuff and answering questions for the next probably couple hours. Or however long I feel inclined, or until my voice gives out. I guess that's always another point. And do feel free to pick my brain about Terraria questions. I feel like, although I'm still not an expert, I'm certainly a lot more knowledgeable at it now than I was, uh, even only a few weeks ago. You know, I feel like I have a, a decent grasp of a lot of the things that are going on in the game. And I've already spent a while looking at the wiki, so... I mean, there are still some things that I'm probably gonna not know 100%, but there's definitely probably more things that I know than that I don't at this point. I'm not trying to brag or anything, it's just like, matter of fact happens after a while, you just start to learn stuff. Alright, uh, so I want to go to the right... Did you and Rob upload different videos purposely? No, it was an accident, actually. Uh, he didn't realize that he had uh, numbered them in the wrong order or something. So after somebody had commented to me, telling me that we had different episodes up, I found him on Skype and told him what was up, and he was like, oh, my bad. So, there you go. You get a preview of the one that we'd be uh, posting on Monday. Episode 68. That is actually properly episode 68. I would normally care about all these mushrooms, except my mushroom farm is pretty prodigious at this point, and I really have no need for them. I've actually, I'm able to generate like 999 of them in, I don't know, a few days uh, of casually harvesting. I still haven't gotten that flaming feather from the dude in hell yet. Look at this, I found a gem cave. Have you guys ever seen a gem cave? This is one of those. They have two different types of gem, and if you're really lucky, one of the types is diamond. I guess theoretically they could have both types of the gem be the same gem, but I haven't seen that yet. And they have a unique background, which I don't know if you can tell. It's uh, both of the gems, which in this case are sapphire and topaz. So, I think that's pretty cool. They seem to be fairly rare, and I've heard that the Rune Mage can actually show up more frequently there, although I don't know if that's actually confirmed or if that's just somebody on the wiki. Maybe I'll just fall asleep with the stream up. Yeah, I mean, whatever works for you, man. I've done that before plenty of times. Oh, oh silt everywhere. Um, I've sort of made that into a habit, actually, doing that with uh, Bananasaurus Rex lately, because he seems to stream uh, at the same time that I'm always editing and rendering. Only tonight I was just really lazy, and instead of recording indie impressions, I just decided to do the secret project thing I was talking about earlier. So, uh, I don't have anything to render or upload. Well, actually, I uploaded an episode of Spelunky, but other than that, I don't. And, uh, so that had finished early, and that's why I decided, well, we might as well do a little bit of grinding, since I'm gonna have to do this whether I do it on air or not. So we might as well get enjoyment out of it, and hang out, and... I wasn't going to sleep anyway. The only sad thing is they don't get to watch Rex's stream tonight, but, you know, probably more Spelunky and La Mulana seems to be the trend for him lately. Good guy. Um, so let's see. I think I brought a couple of things, excuse me, to sacrifice. Uh, I'm just going to find a nice little foothold here. And I also like to scope out the domain a little bit and make sure that I'm probably not about to set myself up to uh, immediately plummet to my death into the lava or something. Uh, also, if sometimes these demons are just holding the doll that I need to sacrifice, that one was not. That just makes things a little quicker, because I think I actually have to grab it out of my piggy bank. Oh, and I have to throw away all this crap that I don't actually want or need. Watch me throw away the ice gate by accident, that would be the most hilarious. Want to keep the iron skin potions. Don't want cobwebs, though. Don't need stone blocks. Um, I'm going to get rid of, like, 400 out of this stack. Just so I can grab more of them. This is, like, my build stuff with stack. Uh, in case I need to build bridges or whatever, block off things. Single bit of gold ore, not necessary. Silver ore and a mushroom. Those statues, too. I'm going to have to put those in my piggy bank. 
copper ore can go. Do you have a YouTube channel? Absolutely, youtube.com slash rockleysmile. Go check me out. I've got uh, 1,400 videos now uploaded, believe it or not. Uh, new videos every single day. I've been posting three every day, actually, for the last couple or week or so, actually. I do primarily indie game coverage of various kinds. I have my daily series, Indie Impressions, uh, where I look at a different, weird, unique, surreal, artistic indie game every single day. And I've been doing that for nearly two years now. That is my primary thing. Streaming is my sort of secondary thing, although I really enjoy this quite a bit as well. Uh, Alright, so let's grab one of these voodoo doll guys. Did I ever say in a video that I understand now that when I was sacrificing the voodoo doll, it was actually killing the dude up on top? I didn't know that for the longest time. For whatever reason, I didn't make that connection that he was actually... Uh, being destroyed by the voodoo doll. I thought it was just sort of like a spiteful act, sort of like a little cheeky thing to do. Apparently not. Alright, let's drop him in. And there we go. Wall of Flesh is awoken. Uh, let's put back our... Let's take the Unreal Stinger, because this thing is badass. I happened to try it out the other day, and it seems to do quite a number on a lot of these enemies. I don't have a lot of time to kill this dude, but I don't need it. Especially if I'm using the Stinger. Uh, the Wall of Flesh is kind of a joke now, which I find ri ridiculously funny, actually. He's not even probably going to put up a fight, really. Can we see his flesh? Or his flesh. Can we see his flesh? He's at 900, 600, and dead. The end. Arcane Ranger Emblem. Okay, well, that's not the one I was wanting. I was hoping for the Warrior Emblem. Well, let's just harvest this, and then we'll do it again. But we're going to have to wait for the dude to respawn, unfortunately. I think Nick might die on this fight. I even used my uh, ranged weapons instead of my magic gear. Or magic stuff, because I had the wrong gear on. I was supposed to use magic there. But uh, who cares, right? Wall of Flesh is not hard anymore. Such a bully. <laughs> yeah, he's a big pussycat. He's just, uh, you know, flesh. Just like humans, really. I mean, we're just flesh. I couldn't take that much of, uh, you know, damage from a dude with magic spells and, and a gun that shoots explosive bullets. I don't really expect much more of that thing. Oh, there's a shadow chest in here. Not like I really need anything out of a shadow chest. Oh, it's actually a mimic, so now I don't have to actually bother... Uh, going to get my shadow key out of the piggy bank again. Isn't that nice? This is why I still keep uh, the mushroom spear on here, just because occasionally I run into something like that, where it's just easy to shoot or hit the dude through the wall. Oh, and I do want all of the dyes that I can find as well. I'm very much interested in collecting those so I can make that bright rainbow gear. Shit's crazy looking if you've seen it. It's really bright. So at this point, I could, if I really wanted to, go and start breaking demon altars, uh, generating end-game level materials. So we basically traverse the entirety of what would normally be like 12 or 15 hours worth of gameplay in like under an hour or under, what, half an hour even. <laughs> uh, so I really wasn't playing all that aggressively. I'm sure I could have even done it a little faster if I would have gone straight down. Any other shadow chests or things worth looking at here? The deep one here. Nope. Nothing on that. I have upgraded my tomahawk, by the way. I don't know if you knew. I mentioned it in one episode, but I don't know if it's an episode. If it is an episode that I've already uploaded or not, it gets kind of weird after a while. I've been playing so much of this game, I kind of forget where I'm at. In reality, with like the series being up, and then what I've actually been playing for my own sake, and what I've been playing on stream, it's like there's too many converging Terraria worlds all happening at the same time. But it's one mass effort to try and get me all the stuff, and I guess that's just what it takes. Nick, your character is green as that healthy. It seems infected. I just got glorified armor on. He's fine. 
actually means he's super strong. It's actually just in his social slot. Uh, that's why I don't have the little uh, Sims plumb bob above his head shooting as a turret. Uh, which is a lovely little thing to have. I wish I could, again, I've said this in prior things, but I wish I could compress an entire armor set and turn whatever its effect is into an artifact or, you know, an equipable uh, thing that I could carry along with me, because I'd love to have that effect with a different armor set, you know, as my actual armor, not just, like, as a social thing. And it just seems like actually a thing that they would have actually put in. I mean, not that I can tell them what they would have put into the game, but it just seems like it would have made so much sense. Alright, there's the end of the world. Didn't go out with a bang, but a whimper. Uh, so I'm just waiting to hear that the vendor dude or the crafty dude will come back, and then I can go ahead and summon Wall of Flesh again. I think there's some other thing other than just that single emblem that I'm also missing from it, and there's still some things I'm missing from Plantera and from the Golem as well, uh, despite the fact that I've fought them a few times. Mod it. Should I mod it? Yeah, I will have to look and see what mods are available, and if that's a thing that I might want to take uh, the series into. I know people do enjoy sort of a protracted Let's play experience with like extra stuff like that, and I don't really mind doing that either if there's something cool and worth showing off. Not that I'm looking to like make my channel into a Terraria channel because it seems like it's almost starting to go that way. I just really like the game, uh, but if there's more that I can use to get more life out of it, then that's more just for my enjoyment as well as yours, I guess. That is, if you're still enjoying it. Alright, any day now. I guess it probably takes like a full day or something, or a, a night to a day before the dude respawns. I don't actually know how that works. So Terraria or Starbound. Yeah, I guess that's the other option, is I guess I could work on something with Starbound, but the other problem I'm still waiting for it to be resolved is uh, they haven't reached the phase yet, as far as I'm aware anyway, that uh, saves won't be wiped in the future in Starbound. So despite as much as I'm interested in playing it more, I just don't want to get invested in it at all because there's a good chance that I'm just going to lose my character anyway, or a very, very high chance, to be honest, if it's uh, still in the same status that it was earlier, or status. I'm not sure why I said status there. It's not really a thing. Oh yeah, I forgot Souls of Light. I want those. I guess that's a good reason to kill stuff down here. Do I get, uh, there's no, like, Hell Key Forge or Key Mold, right? There's uh, jungle, there's frozen, there's blood, there's corruption. Isn't there a fifth one? Tell me which one I forgot. Did I cut that hole in that wall? Yeah, probably. Death to the starbound lovers, not quite. Do a let's play of RPG Maker, let's be honest, it's just a game. <laughs> Uh, I'm being honest, I don't think it is just a game, really. I mean, there's games that are made with RPG Maker, but I'm not sure how you would see it as just a game. I guess you could say the art of making games is a game, and it's in and of itself, I actually saw somebody just this evening on Twitter saying that very thing. Um, I guess in some ways, yeah, it is sort of like that. There were actually things that attempted to make a game out of making games. There was like Fighter Maker on the PS1, I think, was also a thing that sort of worked that way. At least I think it was. I don't. I didn't really use it at all, but I sort of categorized that more as like a consumer product than an industry product, if that makes sense. Stop giving me healing potions I don't want. Oh, is this a real shadow chest? No, it isn't. Oh, it's going to fall in the lava. What did I get? Lucky compass. Well, there's two more gold for me. Hi, Amy Law. It's a game within a game, outside a game, using a game to make a game. That sounds about right. Oh, that one's actually legit for once. Alright, let's, uh, let's drop our piggy bank. Piggy B. Grab our shadow key. And we get a flame lash. Spelunker potion, that's what I like. That's actually more useful than the flame lash, but I'll still sell that anyway, just in case it's useful. 
Um, that's really all I need from there. Drop the key back in. Oh, I should have probably emptied out my inventory again while I was sitting with that thing there. Um, what don't I need? It's nice to have multiple ranger emblems for some reason. I guess I could, uh... Man, I have 41 gold already. That's wild. I could, uh, make the sniper scope thing maybe and have a little bit extra left over. Uh, potentially, if I get enough stuff anyway. I don't want that. He needs a house? Who needs a house? Me? I mean, you're not wrong, but I'm doing my best. Meta joke, haha. <laughs> anyway, um, what's over here on the left? Let's keep going over. Ooh, big ol' apartment complex for demons. I should really kill all the bats. It's really nice getting those extra souls. Any more shadow chests around? They don't usually show up so close together, so I didn't think there would be, but... Oh, did the guide come back? I must have been looking away. Uh, Alright, cool. If the guide came back, then I'll just, uh, I'll dump the other thing right now. I guess right here is fine. I should have brought more of the freaking voodoo dolls with me. Um, oh, I left that in the piggy bank as well. Go away! Stinger's badass. Totally didn't believe you guys at first. <laughs> Alright, let's put... I don't really want... Wait, when did I... Oh, I've had that already. I just don't really think I need it right now. I'm gonna get more souls, don't need hellfire arrows, don't need healing potions, go on torches, take the pone hammer out, take that out, take that arcane ranger thing out, probably not gonna find too much more dye. Hunter potions I just get rid of, I've got too many of those anyway. And another compass can go. Yeah, there's probably a few gold in there. And where can I drop this in? I've got plenty of ground to do that. No! Okay, I was wrong. I guess he didn't come back yet. Crap. Alright, well, I'm sure I'll find another demon that's holding on to one, but... That's dumb. I thought it seemed a little fast, but I was just figuring that you knew, and I was looking away or something. The guide needs a house to spawn? What? Oh, he doesn't come back? I don't even believe that. I've totally seen the guide with no house. I don't know, maybe that's true, but I just, I feel like I've definitely seen him wandering around. I mean, he was there in the first place, right? Water walking... not really. No, no, we're good on that one. Thank you, though. Oh, so much garbage. I wish I could just freaking whitelist certain items. I guess I'll just leave the shadow key in my inventory for another moment. First time, spawns without a home after that, he needs a house. Well, I guess that sucks for me then. It's almost faster to just build a new world each time. <laughs> oh, there's another shadow chest. Four gold. Dark Lance. Gold bars. I wish I could just turn gold bars into actual gold. 
It'd be so much more useful that way. Alright, I think we're just gonna leave then. And I'll go to, like, my Crimson World, where I know that there's, like, a big circular area where I can just sit and farm stuff then. Unless I want to just sell all the crap that I have in my piggy bank. Yeah, either or. If I could find a few more of these voodoo dolls would be nice, just so I could take them back to my other world. I think I've got like two more there, but I don't think that's very many. Especially with the rate I go through them. Got a whole lot of buildings over there, huh? Yeah, that's that's not a good way to be. Alright, let's leave. So many worlds now. Hey Nick, what do you think the worst game you've ever played is? I mean, the worst is an overall sense of quality, not like the worst graphics or the most bugs. I have no idea. Uh, it's, it's really hard to say. There's been so many games throughout my life. I've never really categorized one as just being like, man, I really hate that game. I'll think about it, but I don't think I know of one right off the top of my head anyway. Alright, so let's take all this crap out of here that we want to sell. Sell, sell, sell. Keep that. Keep that. Keep that. Keep that for the collection. Definitely keep the ice skates. Okay, there's really not actually all that much stuff we're selling. Have you seen the NLSS pan flute intro? Of course I have. I mean, I was on it when we did that, so I played it at the beginning. Welcome back, Macros86. Why do you hate Rain and Terraria? Doesn't seem that bad. Triggers that one special event, right? Uh, what am I trying to do here? Oh, I need to spread out all this crap, because I've got too many chests with nothing good in them. Um, Alright, we need to take a trip to... Die World. We'll put this in here. Um, purple Mucus is a thing that I haven't had yet, amazingly. And it looks like it's going to go right about here, right? I've been trying to make it so it's like one continuous chain of colors, like a rainbow all the way around. Okay, so we want to do potions. I'm gonna drop off a spelunker potion and an iron skin. Oh, forgot the two shark fins which go in here. Need to get those rainbow slimes. Okay. Should go Roy G. Biv. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I thought it. I didn't do that? I thought maybe I would have done that. What can I throw out out of here? Jagged microphone for sure. I uh, just want to put this ranger emblem in. Yeah, my auxiliary chest is certainly getting pretty full again, and I keep swapping stuff out to take other stuff that I don't need quite as badly. So I should definitely combine the ice skates now with my uh, spike lightning boots, since I've been looking for that for freaking ages. Uh, 
Uh, that is unless I need some other item to go with it, which I might. Oh, I probably need to put the item in my inventory for that to show up. Yeah, there it is. Oh, they get all weird looking. Allows flight, super fast running, and extra mobility on ice. 7% increased movement speed. Uh, but right now it has... Allows flight, can run incredibly fast. 2% damage. I like the way the other one looks better, but there it is. Oh, 4% damage. Alright, top tier. Excellent. I'm glad that they got that bonus, if anything. It's pretty lucky. Well, that is one little quest that's finally come to rest. And let's dump off all our stuff here at the vendor. Alright, that was two, two... Not even one gold for that. Flame Lash is garbage, and these pictures are not really worth selling either, but whatever. Uh, statue collection. Freaking, like, sorted all of this stuff, too. I've got it so there's like inanimate objects, and then like life forms, and then there's like a little overlap here, and then evil stuff, and then also sorted by base. It's really dumb. I get way too into that. Uh, there's two more souls of each. And then we've cleared out our inventory and we can start properly farming, I suppose. And evidently I want to take the lucky coin with me. Well, let's put our money away too. 54 more gold, 69 silver. Mm, just do that. So which was... I think it was the New Materials one that had the best crimson. Yeah, this is the one I was looking for. Okay, so you just gotta go to the right. So I've already cleared this area out, there's not really anything specific that I want to look for. And where do I go in here? It's uh, the next one, I guess. Although, what is in here anyway? Did I even look in this? Oh, it's like, dirt crimson? Kind of weird. It's like a little bit of both. Deep cave. Oh, it leads to a mushroom biome. Wasn't that cute? Oh, and gold chests. Bleeding band of regeneration. I feel like I've gotten a bunch of those, but I still kind of want another one for some reason. Get out of here. And I do love me a good king statue. Oh my god, another chest here. Two more gold. Another band of regeneration? I don't know why I'm taking that. Freaking boulder, man. <laughs> Did you see how aggressively it came after me? What is that beetle? It's like a weird beetle. I don't think I've seen this one. Mushi ladybug? Is that what that just said? Huh. Oh, I guess it's a hard mode thing. That's why. I kind of forgot we were in hard mode here. Yeah, it did a lot of damage to me, actually. Okay, I don't know where the hell I am. I've just gone completely off the rails now.
should probably go back and actually go for the stuff that I'm trying to actually get. Instead of hanging out here. It's just the freaking exploring, man. It overpowers me in five seconds, and then all of a sudden I don't know where I am. Okay, how do I get back up? Let's go... Normal way. Would I consider giving you a Yaha? Yaha! I normally don't do them early in the morning. It never sounds right. My throat changes and does something weird. Anyway, there you go. You got it. <laughs> How do you get an Inferno Fork? This is from uh, farming the hard mode dungeon. It's from one of the most annoying mages in the game. And it's not very uh, regularly dropped, and I happened to get one with like the best freaking thing on it too, Mythical. So I got really lucky there. But it's really good for farming, and it's very good for killing bosses, especially when you couple it with the Magnet Sphere. Uh, you can actually do a series of things. You get the, uh, the Demonic Nimbus Rod, or the Nimbus Rod, uh, which does dot damage. Basically, just put these clouds in the air, it'll just rain. does about 60 damage per hit, and it ticks pretty frequently. Then you've got the Mythical Inferno Fork, which hits hard, and then also does a little residual flame damage. And then you just keep throwing Magnet Spheres through everything, which also sort of works as damage over time. And uh, if you want to go really crazy, you could even try and shoot some Mega Shark in there as well. Uh, and of course, pair it up with uh, the Golden Shower or the uh, the Poison stuff as well. Any of that stuff works great. So there are a lot of options for how to do the most damage possible. Especially if you're dealing with a magic-based class. I remember digging through here. It's like a really sloppy area that I've created. Is that real? Nope. Freaking mimics, man. They're everywhere. I thought they were rare, but it seems like they show up all the time for me. Not upset about it. They're pretty easy to kill, and they always have uh, two gold on them, so... Well, not on them, but they drop items that you can sell for two gold. Okay, where the hell am I? How am I not in the Crimson? I've gone between the two areas. Let's just cut through here, and then we'll just be done. Alright, so this is a big, fat area full of stuff. Um, I don't know if I want to build a bridge across maybe all of this could do that, because I'm going to get kind of tired of going in this water every five seconds to try and pull stuff out. Also, there's like random spikes here for some reason? What the hell is that? Wooden spikes is from the temple. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just put a bunch of wooden planks down, or platforms. Might take more than that to make the whole thing, but who cares. Of course these guys are going to want to get in my way. Magnet Sphere is basically the best thing ever. It just, like, cuts through everybody. I forgot, does the wooden plank stop the drops from going in the water as well? They might just go right... No, oh, no, they stick. Good. And then I can just drop down there if I need to get them. Cool. So this is probably where we're gonna be for a while. Uh, we're looking for the key mold out of the crimson so I can get vampire knives. And the key molds are a 1 in 4,000 drop as far as I'm aware. And I'm hoping that these are eligible enemies. Of course, well, I'm pretty sure they are. It's just anything from this biome should count. I think it's even just things that happen to be in the biome, if I'm not mistaken. So the fact that, like, that skeleton dude was just in there meant that he should also have the chance to hopefully drop the key mold and maybe I'm mistaken in that let me know I hear something like smacking into the walls what's that about is 
Sounds like somebody mining. Probably just this dumb spider down here or something. Oh, this jungle spider hanging out right next to the crimson. I guess you could seamlessly transition over from one to the other then. Oh, I could also use a viking helmet, so if any of these guys want to drop that, that would work just as well as well. Where's that coming from? I don't know if you can hear that, but there's like a tapping in the wall. Is it in here? No. Nope. Hey, what are you doing? Get out of there. I love the wiki. Farming these molds can take multiple play sessions, you don't say. I know, right? I kind of feel like it would be, unless you get really lucky, it would be like one session as far as you can hold out for each mold. And even still, there's no guarantees. Oh, look at this guy. He's gonna reach through the wall after me. I've gotta get rid of that tapping. It's driving me nuts. I don't know where it's coming from. Stop giving me stupid silver bullets. I don't want those. Um, should make more platforms, too. Telly Skelly knocking on a temple door. Oh, that could be. Is that that close though? Guess we'll find out in a second. If that's the case, I'm just gonna get rid of the temple door. Floaty gross. It was definitely coming from the right. I don't think I even hear it anymore. Maybe he's over with. Let's just flood the temple for the fun of it. I already got all the power cores out of here anyway. Does the temple have... Oh, there's the door. Does the temple have its own key mold? No, I don't think so. There's not really much here. There you go. Now you don't have to tap on the door anymore. Can you... Go away, please. Also, I should take those... Wait, where do those eject from? Those traps. Ah, there they are. Okay. I want those for my own setups. Because they're pretty useful, actually. They do quite a bit of damage, and you can actually use that on the Dungeon Guardian. Uh, basically, just set up two teleporters, and then put a huge series of these uh, between them, and then just lead the dude back and forth. And that should make things a little bit easier. Uh, trying to fight something with 10,000 health that basically hits you in one hit and kills you. There we go. Now you can't mess with me. So, next enemy that shows up, I should be able to just hit with my Magnet Sphere. You guys are ordering pizza? I want some. I think one of the only problems about setting up right here is just that uh, maybe this isn't quite big enough. So we're going to keep running into enemies that are kind of like on the cusp of one side or the other. Uh, that are kind of like stuck in the water and stuff. That I won't be able to see or might be inconsequential enemies. And we're just going to get an endless flow of bats coming out of the temple as well. Which is totally my own fault for opening this. I guess I could hang out like up here somewhat. And then probably most of the enemies will spawn around in the middle. I'm 
I'm hoping the bats can drop the key mold as well, right? Oh, there's a weird mob. I've seen this one before. It's, uh, what are they called? Nymph, right? I don't think she has any special drops, though. She's just, like, different. Stuff crust is better. It's not always better, it's like it depends what mood you're in. I've been in a, a real bit of a kick lately of uh, taking the crust and dipping it in horseradish sauce. And I find that to be quite gratifying. Uh, some days, perhaps, I would be in the mood though for stuffed crust, it's just not always. Some days I want the horseradish sauce, I feel like that works well. Drain this all out. Maybe I could just dump this water out somewhere else. Nah, I don't really feel like it actually is going to take too long. I do not have the discord rod, no. That's one of the few drops at this point that I'm still missing. Where does that come from again? Is that a crimson thing or a dungeon thing or... I can't remember. Uh oh, what's the straw pole about? I'm gonna stand up here for a second. All those drops I just got from killing that little pile. It's about pizza, oh, okay. Not like it wouldn't have been okay if it wasn't about pizza, I was just curious. Oh, why am I not using a blue candle here? This is dumb. And battle potions for that matter. I also have some of those now, and I just forgot to put them in my piggy bank, so now I don't have access to them. Man, I gotta stop being so dumb all the time. Wait. Oh, I just threw away my... Oh, damn it. I thought they were just regular blocks. I threw away my spike traps. Butts. Can't get them back now. Blue candle. Hello. Fat lot of good this blue candle's doing. I guess it's just gonna generate bats from every other biome except for the thing I'm actually in. I could like fill it all in with stone, I guess. Or maybe I should put this up higher. So it actually has a chance of generating things in the area that I want it to be in. But then I'm gonna probably not stay up there, so I don't know. <laughs> it's kinda of, kind of damned if you do, damned if you don't, huh? I could, like, dig into this wall, maybe, and make a new conduit for these guys to come out of? Oh, there's no background here, so I guess that isn't gonna help. Oh, there's an axe randomly in the water. Lime kelp. Oh, that's a thing you don't run into too often. Certainly has plenty of fish. 
Alright, that looks more like blue candle territory. Let's, uh, throw one of these guys in there to do all my work for me. Yeah, I'll take that too, if that's the way it's gonna be. I gotta be more careful the way I throw everything out. Like, I'm probably gonna end up throwing away something actually important at some point. Like I just did a moment ago, actually. <laughs> I was going to make that flat, but I think it just made it more difficult, actually. Well, I'm going to end up with plenty of souls of night, at least, so I don't have to worry about those for a while. Now let's get some of these to light up all of these canals. Husks. Those are always nice. Hi, Stuart. Thank you for coming out, and thank you for everybody that's still here. I know you're all on different time zones, or many of you are on different time zones, but I appreciate it. Whether it's morning, noon, or night for you, that you're spending some time with me. I appreciate all of it. How do you get that magical life steal? I've got the uh, Spectre armor on doing that for me. So basically everything I hit with MP based attacks is just giving me a little bit of health back. Uh, which is something that stacks really great with the Magnet Sphere because that ticks for so much small damage uh, that it heals each time it ticks. As you can see it adds up to a bunch of health. I just have the chlorophyte armor on in my social slot, so you can see it right there. Oh yeah, Rogue Legacy, I gotta play the new update, they added new bosses or something. It's, uh, they're remixes of the old bosses, and there's, they're kind of difficult to get to, and when you get to them, I don't really understand the circumstances of what happens with them, but it's like, you only get... There's like a constrained thing that happens to your health, where you have to fight them under, like, this challenge circumstance. And you can fight them over and over again, but it's really hard, so you're probably going to die a lot. Uh, I haven't recorded anything, but I did watch somebody play it, and it was kind of confusing, so I don't know what I'm going to do when I get to that point myself. What is Spectre Armor made of? It's made of, um, ectoplasm and chlorophyte bars, I think. Ectoplasm you get from hard mode dungeon, and chlorophyte bars you get from hard mode jungle. So I'm actually in the right world if I actually do get the crimson key mold drop, uh, then I can actually just go to the dungeon here. Oh, a dual hook. And then the uh, the dungeon's actually going to have the vampire knives for me, which I'm told is a very nice combination, and can result in some really some significant healing power. I haven't read up on what's in all of the chests, but that one particularly people have told me about. Did anyone find out if you can get the key molds from the bats that spawn here? It just matters what the background tile is, right? If anybody knows. Easy ectoplasm, set up a chest statue in the dungeon on a timer to spawn chest, the only spawnable early spirits for ecto. Wow, so it actually spawns chests? I didn't know it did that. Thought that seemed too good to be true, so I never bothered trying. Let's put some light down here, I'm tired of this being so dark.
You can get it from any enemy that is in the crimson. Okay. Yeah, I did bring my lucky coin this time. Uh, I didn't put it on, though. I guess I could probably do that now. Now I'm so slow. I don't know. What else can I switch? What other thing do I want to take off? Life regen, healing potions. Yeah, I guess that's probably a better call. Probably not going to need either of those, so I've got plenty of my own. I hate being slow, though. So even one of these stupid fish could actually drop it then. I'm thinking maybe I should put the blue candle down a little lower. Around here is probably fine. I seem to spend most of my time outside of the range of it. I could just basically shoot magnet spheres down at everything and never even get involved in the fight. Talk about lazy. I almost put that on the wrong side. Um, that. There we go. Do statues do anything? Only certain ones. Like, the heart ones actually spawn hearts if you put them on a timer to activate. Uh, I guess the star ones probably spawn, like, little MP regen things, right? That's what I would guess anyway, I don't know. And apparently the, uh, the bomb ones spawn bombs, which is pretty cool. I don't know which other ones do stuff other than the one you just mentioned a second ago. The chest one evidently spawns something. Give me that viking helmet, man. The king statue teleports a random male NPC to it. The heart statue drops hearts to heal you. Star from mana, goldfish is fish, jellyfish, jellyfish. Some are just decorative. There you go. It has been decreed. Did you get the Uzi? No, I haven't gotten the Uzi, actually. Uh, who gives the Uzi? With the Uzi and the Discord Rod, there's two items I still need. The chest statue spawns Mimics, the only statue with a spawn over 100... Oh, okay. Oh, it seems like a really good idea to make, like, five of those then, and then just, like, farm them for gold. I don't want to do that, actually. <laughs> Man traps drop the Uzi. Okay. Well, I've certainly killed a lot of those. I bet it's probably dropped, and I just never noticed. No guarantees, but it seems very likely, given how many of these I've killed by now. Yeah, I've never seen any key mold, so it's gonna be a good time when that happens. You'd think, just out of, like, how many enemies I've killed running around, that I would have probably seen one of them. Granted, super low drop rate and everything, but still. Did I really not? Oh yeah, I never took all the power cells out of this area. I guess that'll give me something to do for a second. I should actually just go ahead and get those... Freaking go through those things like crazy. I, I don't know why, just like killing that golem is so easy. I've just been doing it a lot. Give me all your monies. There we go. Oh, there's more spike traps I could use. Oh, that's a spear trap there. 
Make the spawn mimics only drop the banner. No spawn creature gives gold directly. Oh. Well, I wasn't thinking that it would give gold directly. I was thinking it would drop the items that gave gold. Because I seem to find these gold mimics constantly, and they all have uh, basically one of those like end game accessories that gives you two gold each time. Oh, really? I thought I got rid of all of those. Apparently, I still missed more. Yep, they're right there. They're real hard to see for some reason for me. Okay, excuse me. This is a good job at lighting up the room, too. Um, Alright, let's mine all of this crap out. Freaking buttons on every surface. Look at how many traps there are right here. So silly. Oh, and more over that side. Oh, that's just a regular brick. It's hard to tell which ones are bricks sometimes. This place is a pain in the ass to go through. like 5,000 more spike traps up here. A lot of free wire, too. I should come in here with my wire cutter and go nuts. This shit's expensive. Especially if you're trying to build teleporters over long distances. Yeah, this is what I was missing from my uh, Halloween area. Needed more of these spiky traps. Or any of these spiky traps, I didn't actually use them. Where are all the chests at? Excuse me. Super dart trap. Is that better than a regular dart trap? I guess it is. Also, where did that just come from? Did I still miss one of those? I'm sure I did. Hey, give me all that health, please. I didn't even see it the second time. That's real bad. I'll just use this for light. Oh, more spike traps everywhere. At least I'll come out with a nice batch of those. That was a mimic, I think. Is that a mimic? Oh yeah, it was. Wording Titan Glove. I think I actually needed a Titan Glove for something recently. There's another Power Cell. I'm so glad those stack now. Because I don't think they did at first. Spear Trap, Silver Bullet. Let's put those all together. 40 Spike Ball Traps. That should uh, keep us occupied for a while. Let's get these guys out of the way. What's going on over here? There's like this big hole in the wall for some reason. I'm not sure what you use that for. Oh, this is the last room. And I didn't take the power cell directly out of this next to the altar. Really, that's all there is here? This is not a very big area, is it? Spike traps, and then we'll head back. I must have missed some chests, right? Seemed too easy. Oh, 
More spikes. Alright, well, I thought that would help me, but apparently that's going to put me even further away. Oh, hello. safe. I think I got rid of most of the traps on the way down. Might as well just run through it all to test it then. Except for this one that I can't find at all where it's coming from. Oh, more darts in the wall. I might as well take them too. I passed that one. Alright, four seems a little bit more reasonable. Make tons of battle potions there, make farming 50% more efficient. That's pretty good. I have a few at my house, which is not here, that I wish I would have taken with me. But at some point I am going to have to stop off and drop all this crap. Been uh, farming in a bit strange of a way. Been the most efficient farming anyway. <laughs> Nick, what is your favorite word? I don't think I have a favorite word. People always ask me what's my favorite thing about whatever it is, and unless it's like ice cream, I usually don't put a lot of thought into fa picking favorites on stuff. Uh, mostly because that stuff can change anyway. Again, if I think of it, I'll let you know. I'm in dire need of rations, Nick. Send word to my family I need food. Alright, how do I contact them? Will they know how to help you? signals that'll work. I actually have a new favorite kind of ice cream lately. Uh, it's this one particular brand, I think it's like Friendly's or something, it's not a kind that I usually like that much. But they have a coffee flavor ice cream with, it's got uh, like chocolate cookies in it. Kind of like just Oreo, but not like the whole Oreo, just like the chocolate part of the Oreo which is just kind of mixed in randomly. It's a surprisingly good combination, and the coffee has a nice flavor to it, so those two things actually go really well together. Not that that would be a super big surprise or anything, but uh, I haven't really seen anyone do it before in such a way. And the chocolate cookies have a nice richness to them too, which makes you kind of seek them out a little bit more and hope that you get them in big chunks. Not too many ice creams that I usually prefer the chunks over the actual ice cream, although I'm not saying I prefer it, but I kind of am excited by finding it when I find it. Why do you put so much thought into ice cream? I don't know, why does anybody do anything, really? Sometimes you gotta think about ice cream. Make those big decisions. What kind of ice cream am I going to eat today? You, know, you only get to live on this earth for so many years, you know, you want to fill it up with good times and ice cream mostly. Those two things together make a long, fulfilling life. C 
Cinnamon ice cream and apple cider makes a great float. Huh. Does sound interesting. I just like the standard uh, vanilla ice cream and Coke. Most people prefer root beer. I find that the root beer is a little too sweet, actually. The Coke has a little bit more acidity to it, if that makes any sense. And it offsets the sweetness of the ice cream better. Also, the root beer seems to be more carbonated than the Coke and often just turns into mostly just foam. And there's no bigger buzz kill than thinking you're going to have a nice, satisfying ice cream float. Or an ice cream soda, and then you find out it's just frickin' foam. Like, what, what's the point of that? What enjoyment are you gonna get of just foam? It's fun for like three seconds until you realize, like, that's not what I came here for. What about Sherbert? Oh, you're asking me. I don't like the acidity mixed with the ice cream. Or the acidity. No, I guess it's not for everybody. Depends on the root beer, you dirty heathen. I guess that's true. Yeah, I'm uh, operating under a false pretense that the only real root beer is like A and W, which is just not true at all. That root beer is way too sweet. Root beer should have a nice bite to it, shouldn't it? And then some people try to mix cream soda and make an ice cream float out of that. And so, like, if I thought that the root beer was too sweet, cream soda is, like, on a whole other level. I mean, I get where they're coming from, but you're, like, you're mixing like with like at that point, and you're not going to come out with anything new. Come back and we're talking about root beer sweet. <laughs> root bear, actually, you said. <laughs> should ask bear about root bear. And he's already got all the taffy. It'd be hilarious if I just, like, had the thing in my inventory already and just didn't notice. Root beer has bite? Yeah, it does if it's correct. Like, the, uh, birch beers, I think, are, like, the more pronounced root beer. Where they have a bit more of that... I don't even know what the right word is to the flavor of it. But it's not just, like, sweet corn syrupy flavor. It's, like, actually got its own deal behind it. Its own depth. And I'm not necessarily talking cream, uh, shit about cream soda either. I don't think I hate it. I just think that it doesn't belong with ice cream most of the time. Unless there's a very specific way that that works out better. I remember when I was little, my dad used to own a convenience store uh, in New Jersey, and I would go with him occasionally. Not sure why, I guess it was just like, fun hang out with your dad day or something. Uh, so I would like sit in the stock room, and he would just like let me pick a drink, like whatever I wanted. So this was back in was it the early 90s. Oh look, I got a menacing cross necklace. And he had, uh, this was back when they had Snapples that were like Snapple sodas. So they had like a French vanilla Snapple soda, which was actually, you know, cream soda essentially. And that was pretty good, and I kind of miss that those things even exist anymore. Uh, and most people haven't even heard of Snapple having soda, which is pretty cool as well. Like that, uh, I feel like I'm part of this special club or something. Uh, and there was also some kind of blue cream soda, which was kind of bizarre, but also tasted really good. And I don't remember who made that anymore. want to hear yeah yeah I, I recorded it for much that reason and feel free to uh drop your yahas in the chat because you know rock yaha is a thing for subscribers now and rock tomato is now on its way to being approved as we speak another compass so i certainly do want to give subscribers plenty of options for ways to express themselves via twitch Whatever vegetable you're into, you can always trust Rockly Smile's Twitch page. We'll have something for you. Yeah, there they are.
Rock Tomato finally. Yeah, it's good if you want to, like, boo somebody off the stage, you know? I thought that would be, like, a practical use for it. Or, of course, if we're just, you know, doing Spelunky stuff as well. I said all this earlier, but it's like people are probably coming in that weren't here before. Nick, does it make sense? Does what make sense? Sorry, did I miss another thing that you said? I'm mostly watching the chat, but occasionally I miss a couple lines. It never makes sense. Does it make dollars? Well, that's all yet to be seen. I must say, my Twitch has certainly suffered quite a bit stats-wise since the NLSS has been off. Um, mostly my own fault being that I haven't really kept up with streaming, but I have to say I think the bulk of like the people that visit me are often from the NLSS in the first place, so... Uh, yeah, numbers have definitely been down. But that's to be expected, and uh, I want to, you know, try and bring some good new reasons for people to want to come back. You're streaming pretty early? Yeah, it's 5 o'clock right now. I just uh, started streaming, it was like 3, I think. Maybe it was even later than that, I forgot already. But that's what grinding's about. Oh boy, armor polish, another two gold. Filling up my inventory again. Um, let's dump some stuff off. Since I'm not going to need any of these, uh, whatever the hell you call them, the ancient temple stuff, I'll just dump that into the piggy bank for now. Oh yeah, I emptied it out, so I guess I can get rid of all of this for now. Keep the ichor. Wait, dual hooks still don't stack, right? No, they don't. Alright, that's looking a bit better. Probably don't want that there, though. There we go. Haven't been an NLSS since last year. You're not wrong. Maybe you should farm Brain of Cthulhu since... Creepers count as kills. Oh, that's a good point, I guess. I forgot that they count. I was gonna say, I already got all the drops from that thing, so it wouldn't probably be worth bothering, but yeah, if all the little chunks of it count, then... If I can make it happen, then let's go for it. it certainly would be a little bit more lively, like you said. <laughs> horrible chill goes down your spine. I feel like they should get some, like, famous voice actor dude to say that when that shows up on the screen. Um, are there more of these, though? Because I don't know that I was really watching the map very well. Alright, there's one there. Oh, they're all on the other side of the world. Okay, why don't we move over there, then? I'll take my blue candle and we'll go elsewhere for the moment, and we can come back. But there's way more shadow orbs, and then we'll probably have less of this uh, bat situation as well. It's kind of a win-win then. Uh, what's the best way for me to get over there? Okay, I gotta take that tunnel that I built. Huh. 
Hard to believe that this is how they would actually have designed everyone to get these uh, pieces for these keys. It seems very boring and laborious. And for the most part, although there's been some grinding, I think they've often had alternate ways that if you have the ability that you should be able to maybe get you know, a slightly easier way. I would almost expect that maybe these key molds could drop uh, from like the frost moon or something just because, well, if you get to the frost mo moon, you're probably already you're past where you needed to be to get them. So you should be rewarded with, here's like an easy way to do that. Alright, let's just keep going down. I think I went on a Dracula Fetus Marathon a few days ago, and I have the Wild Wild West theme stuck in my head. <laughs> that happens to all of us. It's part of being human, unfortunately. Or fortunately, depending on how you look at things. I got a basic panic necklace. The brain has awoken. Should I have put down the blue candle on top of the boss fight? Probably right. Oh god, I'm getting hurt from this stupid thing. Um, there it is. Oh, I got horribly lost in my inventory there for a second. Okay, let's just get let's get this down first, and then we'll just do one of these. Look at everything falling and dying in all directions. I think this might be a much better place uh, for me to farm, just because the amount of actual like crimson enemies seems to be a lot better. I don't think anything dropped, though. Oh, look at all these guys. I think they're all fancy. We do get some Crimtain ore out of it as well, which is not a bad thing. No, I'm gonna beat you to death with my hammer, how about that? Is there a third one? Oh, yeah, plenty more. I just think you got this far, a little bit more grinding wouldn't hurt. Yeah, I guess I hear that. Brain of Cthulhu, why are you so boring? Show up! There you are. I love how I just made this horrifying crunch sound when I hit it with basically everything all at the same time. Yeah, that's, uh, that's quite a fight. I, like, filled up my whole inventory again. Anyone love me because I love you guys? Everybody should love everyone. I very much appreciate public uh, expressions of joy like that. I think that's lovely. What is this little blue thing here? Apparently nothing at all. Enough for me to do one more? Oh god, freaking huge hole here. Okay, I should probably like make note of that. See, Amy loves everyone. It's nice. break in there, and we'll see if there's another two somewhere else. 
Oh, there's also all these dudes hanging out in this little cubby hole, which I like to eliminate. doesn't lie. Oh, there's one down there. And that might be it. 